Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Morrowind Randomly Generated Edition. If you're watching this on YouTube, hello. If you've been watching us on Twitch for like the last half hour, you you don't get a hello. You've been here for ages. If you are watching this on YouTube, though, uh, as usual, this is being recorded on Twitch. So you will be able to see the peanut gallery over here on the right somewhere. There they are, right on cue. Um, yeah, previously we were playing as, oh my goodness me, what was it? Another difficult to pronounce name, Asutas Sword. I think when they asked what his name was, he might have been drunk. But, um, anyway, we're playing as this dude. But make it quick. He's House Redoran. He's a Nightblade. He's still level freaking one. Um, but he's doing okay so far. He's lasted longer than some of our previous characters. Uh, let's pop his helmet back on, I suppose. Um, yeah, he's doing okay. He's got a nice amulet. I forget exactly where we picked that up, the amulet of shadows, but that's a nice one. Um, and he's got high mysticism skill, which is really nice because it allows him to use the incredibly broken and OP absorb health, um, spell in the game, which, which is part of the reason why he survived. <laughs> so... That's good. Um, we just did a... We're just in the process of doing a quest for Redoran. Yeah, Mathis Dalabar. We rescued him and uh, brought him back to the Margan Shrine. However, while we were in the process of doing that, we met Phonus Rathrion, who wants to go to the Coal Cave near Nisus and has promised us 150 septims for doing so. And considering we only have about 141 gold at the minute... 147 gold, sorry. I figured it's probably a good idea. So, um, we can get to Nisus via the Silt Strider anyway, so that's most of the journey dealt with. Now you just gotta hop across the river and walk him on down to the cave, don't you? So, easy. Have you ever even made it to level two in this series? Uh, maybe once or twice. <laughs> we make a special trip just for you. Same low pride. Take me to Nisus. Go Nisus. Why, oh god. When you can run. Got a little bit intimate there, didn't we? Uh, right. We can't... I'd like to go and rest somewhere to get rid of the night and the fog, but unfortunately this character's handicap we rolled was that he's an insomniac, so he never gets to rest. Except for levelling up. Uh, Will 316. Oh, sorry. Will 0316. Thank you very much for the five months of subbage. Welcome back. Um, oh, it's the pants guy. Oh, you, you're on your own, mate. I don't have the money to buy back your pants for you. You gonna be able to follow me up here, man? Okay, yeah, good. Should be just around the corner here, I think. A rat. Come here, foul beast. Oh, dude, don't get in the way. I'm going to accidentally stab you. And then it'll be all over. Wait a minute. No, it's this way. <laughs> oh, I love how easily you can get turned around in Vanilla Morrowind with its, with, with its very short view distance. It's been a refreshing change, honestly, playing this series without graphics mods. Right, do we actually have to bring him into the cave, or do we just stand next to it? Ah, good. There we go. Thank you for your help. Acetas, as promised, here is your payment. Lovely! Right, have fun, mate. Try not to get eaten by the dregs. My wealth has just almost doubled. Amazing. Options are just insomniac or racist. That's not true. It's just those ones seem to come up way more often than the others for some reason. Public menace comes up quite often as well. Dream is the probably the funniest one. It's just it's just like Dream mode really doesn't work with an Iron Man series though because it's so easy to die. But it's probably my favourite handicap. This is a good 
something out of hand now. There are two drinks. All right. Time to spend a chunk of this on fast travel, I guess. Well, what Red, Red Oran going to award me with probably just brownie points well, and a pat on the back? Go. I would imagine. You don't join Red Oran to get rich, that's for damn sure. <laughs> this architecture is such a trip. Why are you here? Why are any of us here, Red Around Guard? Is it because I have to flog this game to death for views? Because I, I need to do so to make a living? Quite possibly. If, they, if you really want to know, Red Around Guard, that's probably why I'm here. Still playing a game from 2002 because, to my amazement, people still want to watch it. Of having, having a crisis. I prefer to call it a moment of clarity. Mathis Dalabar is rescued, yes. Good work. I have more duties for you. See, not even a reward. Amazing. Amazing! And I can't I don't meet the requirements, so no level up for us either. No advancement even. A Halu guard stole a f oh this quest. Oh my god. Oh boy. Not this one. Lalu guard stole a founder's helm from one of our tombs. Would you be willing to recover this founder's helm from the godless Lalu? Alvis Terry stole a founder's helm from the Uvaran ancestral tomb. He boasts of this feat at the Eight Plates Inn in Balmora and wears the helm openly. Confront him and demand the helm. Slay him if necessary, but do not shame House Redoran by murdering him. You must not murder Alvis Terry. Threaten him, taunt him. These are allowed. You may even slay him as long as he strikes the first blow. But if you resort to murder, the Harley will brag for years that all Red Rams are thugs and murderers. Oh, I, I, you know, I would honestly take a Mud Crab Directions quest over over a um. You must go and persuade this NPC quest. Do I know you? Now, on the bright side, one of our skills is illusion, so we might just be able to charm the bugger. But your average Red Around character is unlikely to have charm and is probably even unlikelier to have uh, any speechcraft skill. So why the developers felt the need to torture you with a quest like this in the Red Around storyline, I don't know. Go to the mage guild and see if anyone's got a charm spell. Unless I've already got one myself, I don't know. No, gonna have to go find one. Ask your question. What's this regarding? What have you got? What have you got that I can actually afford? I can just make a broken one that is, only works for like one second, so. I just need to get the spell effect. That's the tricky part. Curses. I think that tavern girl is looking for you. It's taunt o'clock. It, it doesn't fucking work though in vanilla, man. Like you, you just you, you if unless you've got any speechcraft skill, like it just doesn't work because as soon as you get the disposition to zero, the chance for a successful taunt goes right down to almost zero. So just sitting there and pressing taunt again and again and again is just... It's not going to work unless you're willing to literally sit there for like, and do it for like an hour. When I did when I did the, the YouTube series with, with Fathis, um, I had a speechcraft mod. And I had speechcraft skill. But I had to have the mod to actually even make speechcraft a viable skill in the first place. So um, that was the only reason I was able to taunt with that with him. It's a basically it's a virtually useless ability in this game. In vanilla. 
Yes. Gib charm spell. I'd settle for a scroll at this point, honestly. You have something to say to me? It's gonna be one of those things like Command Humanoid where there's only like one NPC in the entire game that sells it to you. Charming d oh god. <laughs> How much money do you want for that, mate? Oh goody. Alright then. We're gonna have to find another way to do this. Uh I wonder if anyone's got a frenzy spell. That would make him attack first. Yes. <laughs> I could go rob all this Dren. Uh, that would give me the money. Someone around here is bound to have a frenzy spell. Care to tell me what this is about? Tempted to buy on Ducey's open door, actually, because I could do with that. Actually, have you got a scroll that would do the job? That might save us a lot of bother. I'm listening. Only useless Please scrolls here. My patience is limited. The prey approaches. Go ahead, stranger. We're watching you, scum. Mr. Mega Hassey. Thank you very much. 14 months of savage. Welcome back. Frenzying touch. Hello there, General Kenobi. Spell making. I don't know what level this guy's going to be. If we do on touch, can't be higher than like level 20, can he? I think this might be another one of those uh, spells that you can abuse. I think because I think all oh, you only need it for like one second for him to initiate combat, possibly. This is not character level though. I don't know. It's weird. Some of these spells, like they have the magnitude for them, actually relates to character level. Um, like command humanoid, I think works like that. But um, I guess we'll find out. We'll give the, we'll give this a go. We'll give this a go. Frenzy. I'll just call it Frenzy Twenty. It's not a very expensive experiment. This it cost me fourteen gold, so. I'm listening. Yes. Can we hurry this along? No. Am I, I am a men member of the Mages Guild, right? Yeah, I am. Scum. Crooked Jades, welcome back, dude. 47 months. Good grief. Oh, the cat's at the door. He has returned. After making a mess. He's probably soaked through as well. It's been raining outside. I'll let you take... Well, hold on. I'll go open the door for him. Dagoth Purr has entered the chat indeed, he, and I can confirm he is indeed a soggy moggy, aren't you? 
You've been you've been crawling around in wet bushes, haven't you? You little fiend. What you doing? You coming up on the desk? Hello. Hello. Yes, he stood directly in front of the monitor now, like, I am far more important than your job, father. You must pay attention to me now, not the chat. Soggy soot goblin, yeah. What have you been up to then, eh? Hmm? Looking for birdies. They're probably all hiding. The weather's not very good. Yes, no, please don't. Not on my, not not against my face, please. You're soaking wet. You want to just sit down? You can do that. Look, I'll move these. I'll move these cans out of the way. There you go. You got some room now. Goodness me. Right. There you go. Lie, go you have a lie down. You have a lie down on the desk here. You can watch me move the mouse cursor around. We had good weather for yeah, we did, I suppose. Wouldn't have been funnier if we didn't actually, to be honest. That absolute circus they had going on outside the palace that I've only seen pictures of because you couldn't pay me to tune in and watch that crap. Um, right. Where are we going? The eight plates, just down here. Cat, you look dangerously close to falling off the desk there, dude. Are you sure that's comfortable? Speak, traveller. Here's the guy. Right, I just walked straight past him. Leave distracted me. by the pussycat on the desk. Alvis Terry. Oh, just what I need. It's another stupid red run. Uh, I'm here about the fans, Helm, dude. I don't think so. I like the way it fits. All right, well, we're going to give this a go then. Frenzy 20. I shall return. <laughs> we'll try 50 this time. I don't know why I quick saved it, actually. Yeah, I did force of habit, I guess. Not a, not a bad habit to maintain, admittedly. What is this about? My patience is limited. So is mine, lady. We'll try fifty this time. Maybe that. Maybe it's. Maybe it's a chance of success. Who knows what the mysterious magnitude? It says range in this. No, it's that's the wrong tooltip. The range of a spell's power. Even the tooltip's wrong. Anyway, uh, who knows what magnitude means with with some spells. I'd have to look it up on UESP or something. Maybe it's chance of success with this particular one. Sometimes it's the NPC's level. Sometimes it's an attribute. Sometimes it's just chance. It raises fight value. Oh, I see. Okay. I think I still think we probably only need it for like one second, don't we? So we'll try 50 this time. Yes, out. Okay. 
What up, dude? I have returned. Why, there's no time to talk now. Go. Well, clearly not enough. I'm gonna do all this and he's gonna one hit kill you. You know what? You're probably not wrong. Yes, Outlander. Can we hurry this along? <laughs> She's like, oh god, you're back again. Alright, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do fifty. No, not area. Duration. So three seconds. My amazing spell naming that. I've heard a lot. Yeah, no, I know, I know what you mean, Super Sheep. I mean, I, I've been playing this game for twenty years on and off, and I still there are still in, like entire quest lines I've not done. There's still artifacts I've never found, like I've never found the Dragon Bone Curious, for example. And I've never bothered to look it up either, because I'd like to just sort of randomly find it one day, without having a wiki tell me how to do it. It's nice to have a few deliberate mysteries left in a game, you know. Time now. Oh god. Go. Alright, I'm just gonna stand here and stare at you until my fatigue comes back, dude. 100% completion run when. I don't know if I will actually live long enough to see that done, Alf, to be honest, mate. <laughs> I don't think there's enough years left on my clock for that. Not enough sand left in the hourglass. And actually, yeah, Furious does 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 put correctly point out that you can't you can't one hundred percent this game on a single playthrough technically. So, oh, I was hoping that doing one after the other would do the trick, but I guess not. There we go. Ha ha! Okay, absorb health. I have the most broken spell in the game, and you can't do anything about it. Beautiful. Lovely. And you know what? Uh, do I? I don't have any medium armor skill, do I? Light armor 22. Medium armor 5. Ah, oh, that's a shame. There's a whole load of free bone mold just sitting there. I'll take your expensive pants, though. I'll tell you what, I will take all this, because... I'm going to friggin' sell it, mate. I'm going to sell it to that little wood elf. And I'll have a spare steel short sword while I'm on it. Colin has just leapt off the desk. Right. Oh, don't sell the helmet. That's important. We must keep that. <laughs> Oh dear. It's very nearly a very foolish decision. There we go. Of course, he's, he's going to wear most of it. Excellent. Jobs are good and. Yes, 
find it. What assistance do you need? Yes. Choke me to wild ruin. Oh, what are you doing now, cat? This is what like 50% of cat ownership is actually like, is just sitting there going, what are you doing now? The two most commonly asked questions. Why are you wet and what are you doing? Ah, hello. Did you want something? Yeah, he's 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 being a little chaos goblin now. That's for sure. He's 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 creeping around behind my computer monitor at the moment. Hello again. Oh, I've come to sit back down again, have we? Okay. Using my hand on the mouse to pillow as usual. What is that on the back of your head? It's a bit of fluff you've picked up from somewhere. You're like a feather duster. You just go around attracting it all to you. Can we hurry to this? So what's this about? <laughs> this guard just aggressively walking into her. <laughs> yeah, I got the founder's helm. Good work, Casey Tess. You have recovered the founder's helm and have not brought shame upon House Redoran. Will you give me the helm now? I've never pressed no, but here you go. Thank you, Asutas. You handled Alvis Terriel and did not well and did not shame House Radaran. Uh some money would be nice. They don't pay you in anything, do they here? It's it's amazing. Drew Lane Fairland needs help with her Gua herds again. Sounds like trouble with bandits. It happens, especially further from the law. Usually the bandits are, out are outcast Ashlanders. Go talk to Druleen Phelan again. She might be able to tell you where the bandits are. Oh, goody, everybody. We're going to get paid in leaves again. Colin messing around with the computer is another reason for the quick saves. Honestly, it's a good idea. Because he, he he does every now and again just to keep me on my toes. He does like to stand on the power switch. I need to put like a guard on it, like they have in aeroplanes for the important switches. I need like a little plastic cover to go over the uh, on-off switch. You should kill those bandits for me. It'll be great exposure, yeah. <sighs> That's pretty much what they reward you in a house, Redder, and exposure. I think this current char character is neutral, Thunder. I don't have the um I don't have the character sheet in front of me right now, but I'm pretty sure we rolled neutral for this one. For the longest time, I I thought that these like background animal howls and stuff in the in the Ashlands were actually being made by specific creatures. And I, I for this game, I spent months wandering around trying to trying to find these these huge monsters that must have been making these amazing distant howls, and never did. It was weird how how how. How I approached these games back before I realized how to how to really game the system properly and understood how everything worked. Like when I first played Oblivion and I, I, I went... I'd seen like the promo screenshots of the dude wearing elven armor and I thought to myself, I want some of that. And um, I, I'd, I'd come from Morrowind where, you know, like if you want like Daedric armor or something like that, then you want to go to a Daedric ruin and that's where you might find some. Um... this way and so for like a week 
playing Oblivion for the first time, I kept going into a Aeliad Ruins because I assumed, well, that clearly will be where I find the Elven Armor, yes? No, that's not, of course, how it works, but uh, didn't stop me trying. Naked Nord over there. We're in the right neighborhood. Leveled Liscober, indeed. There's some Nyx Hounds I killed earlier. Is. is there something I can do for you? Uh, but let's see. Uh, trouble with bandits. The bandits have only tried to get my guar and those of two other herders nearby. The bandits came from the south last time and they led off one of my best guar that way. I'd check south of here to see if there are any caves or tombs that the bandits could be hiding in. Jolly good. So, off to the south. There should, if I recall, be like a cave entrance or something with a guar outside it. Sad when you first learned you can't ride Guar and Morrowind. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of the same. I kept thinking for ages, like, oh, there must be a way to do it. These pack Guar things exist. There must be a way to get one. Here we go. This is the place. Alright, walking into a wall there where I try and negotiate my mouse around the, the sleeping puss cat on my desk. I'm taking that diamond. I probably shouldn't. Uh, I mustn't. We're, we're a good old fashioned god fearing red around. We don't take stuff from ancestral tombs, even if it's a diamond. Hello there! Time to murder a Bosma, everybody. Conscience free. My block increased to six, hooray! I need to go find a nice shirt to match my uh, expensive pantaloons. I think, were they it? I think they were they weren't the they were it. Guy to Vivek. Saw a book over here. Holgerd's tail. Heavy armor increased to six. Oh, okay.
It's funny spaghetti. I think I think most of the early RPGs I played uh, would would are games that would not be considered proper RPGs by um, the old enough breed of neckbeard. Because the first RP the first RPGs I played were action RPGs like like you know Diablo style. Dungeons and Dragons Heroes, swiftly followed by Baldur's Gate 2 Dark Alliance. No, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. I always get that wrong, the wrong way around for some reason. I'm reasonably sure those were the first RPGs I played. And then at some point I played KOTOR 1 on the Xbox. I remember that. I remember that because... On my first ever playthrough, I got all the way to the end, and then the uh, the game crashed during the final cutscene. And my previous save was about three hours before. Is there something I can do for you? Because prior to that, I'd pretty much only uh, to me PC gaming was basically just racing games, flight simulators. Uh, FIFA and the odd first person shooter and like strategy games like Command and Conquer and Age of Empires that was pretty much what I played on PC until I until I got an Xbox and I played Dungeons and Dragons Heroes hey two Hakolo leaves delightful You mostly grew up with JRPGs. You think your first Western experience is probably Oblivion when you got the 360. Do you know what? Actually, you, that's a, you, you make a really good point there, actually, because I, I, I suspect that actually... I mean, I don't have, like, the timeline here in front of me, but uh, I suspect that actually, technically, my first RPG was probably Pokemon. Pokemon Blue, to be specific. For some reason, I don't. My in my brain, I don't automatically think of Pokemon as an RPG, but it totally is. Let's be having this guy as well. basic Star Trek via cassette into a Commodore PET. I, I grew up with an Amstrad 64 on which I played Frogger and Harrier Attack and um, what else? I think there was a Batman game on there. And there was um. I think I think I had a copy of Elite actually, but I, I was one of the, it. Was, I, I didn't really understand how to. I've gone the wrong way. I've accidentally wandered into that other patch of Ashlands that's weirdly out of place. I need to go back this way. I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we had a copy of Elite, but I I was too young to figure out how it really worked. So I remember loading it up once, and it took ages because it was loading from a goddamn cassette. So it took forever to load, and then eventually when it did, I was just like, I don't understand how any of this works. I think I was able to fly around a bit and shoot some dudes, and uh, that was about as far as I got with it. Oh my god. Go away! Um, what was that? Oh, yeah, I, there was another one. I can't remember what it was called. But it was like a... It was this game where you were like in, a, in an Egyptian tomb. And it was it was basically divided up into a bunch of corridors. That was in a square grid pattern. And um, 
you had to uncover treasure by walking around each set of corridors around one of the big square blocks that separated the corridors in the grid pattern. Every time you watch, walked around one of those squares, it would reveal either treasure or a key to get out into the next level, or it would reveal a mummy, which would then start chasing you around the place. I don't remember what the game was called, but um, I played tons of it. And it had this constant little silly theme music, theme music playing that was like... <laughs> the entire time. I think I only got to like level probably five or six or something at max before I ended up dying every time. Found a cave. Might be something of value in here, actually. Oh, it's milk! Oh, we don't go in milk. Milk is full of very bad people. Which is also related to a red around quest, so I especially don't want to go in there and muck it up. We'll, we'll leave milk alone for now. Milk's, milk's gone bad, indeed. <laughs> There's milk, there's cheese. Also true. Path of Radiance. Oh, I thought you meant Pool of Radiance then. I was like, I have that. No, different game. give milk um I don't know they're not they're not mammals are they so I'm guessing probably not but then again I no, they I guess they do though don't they because you come across fermented like guar milk don't you in the in the game sometimes or is that just from mods and therefore may not strictly speaking be canon I'm sure I've come across like fermented guar milk before in Morrowind There are no guar eggs. There aren't, are there? Maybe they're like Argonians and they're, they're technically mammals, even though they look like reptiles. And jokes on you, Samwise, because I don't use mods for my off-cam playthroughs. This has been a matter of established fact for quite a while, actually. But I, I don't, I don't play with mods Why typically off-camera. I pretty much just do that for the uh, what is it out for the YouTube stuff and the Twitch stuff. What is it? Nice to see you, friend. Bandits are sorted. Good work, Ace Tessa. I have more duties for you. One of the councillors has been threatened. I don't have any duties for anyone under the rank of lawman. Ah. Right. If you need more duties, try asking Tuveso Beleth here in the council hall. Or Farrell Retheren in Revec. Theldin Virith and Alvalothi might have something else for you to do as well. Okay. Tuveso Beleth. Alright. Let's go find her. What is him? It? I'm not really sure with, with Dark Elf names half the time. Javesso Ballard, the Smith, really? Speak, traveller. There she is. Hello. What do you Can we hurry this up? Duties? My son, Devil Belleth, wants to make the ruddy man pilgrimage. I want to let him go, but he is young and needs someone to escort him to the coal cave. The coal cave again? Really? 
Talk to my son, Devil Belleth, and escort him to the coal cave. I'm, I'm just the coal cave taxi service, aren't I? Any, any good weapons? Just like a Wakasaji would be kind of nice. No, it doesn't look like it. Can you repair my stuff at least? There we go. Alright, kid. Let's go. Oh dear, I'm gonna have to edit your stats, aren't I? Alright. Speed... Hundred and fifty. That's better. Most useful console command in the game, by far. Nice to see you. That and uh, reset actors. Why are you also incredibly useful. This is why Reset Actors is really good. Because it does that. <laughs> Looked it up on UESP. Fermented guar milk is not a thing, you know, in canon. It's mod gubbins of some kind. Maybe it's just a name then, like guar milk. Maybe it's a cocktail. Better wait for this guy to catch up actually first. Yeah. We make a special trip just for you. Hello again, my pantsless friend. Yeah, there are no guar nests and there are no guar eggs. So it, uh... It does make you beg the question, doesn't it? Guar cheese, then. Oh, such a shame. Bet it would have been amazing or terrible. Difficult to say. I mean, I hold to it that I, 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 I will hold. I hold to <laughs> this guy's still here. <laughs> We're just leaving a small, a small horde of NPCs outside the coal cave. Do you, do you actually want to come in? You don't want to stay outside. Guar omelets, though. Friend. There we go. Let me stay here a while. I travel. I will travel back to Old Room with another pilgrim, like the guy outside. Thing is, though, I think the guy outside is lost. He doesn't know the way back, but he's too polite to ask. Go ahead. Or perhaps just too embarrassed to ask. He's more fervent than believer because he actually goes inside. Yeah, the other guy's just been sort of sitting there for like an entire day trying to pluck up the courage. After I it was after I told him not to be eaten by the uh, eaten by the the dregs, he was like, "Wait, there's actual dregs in there? Oh, I don't know what to do now." And he's just stood outside ever since, paralyzed by indecision. He left the wax at home, yeah. 
please never did that quest before or if I did it's so long ago I've forgotten I think it's because usually when I'm doing a red character I actually get promoted so I don't have to go elsewhere for my quests <laughs> Team Dread would be good with butter. A horrifying thought. Watched episode 3 of the new season of The Boys yesterday as well, so that's just brought back unwanted memories. What, what brings you, you here, friend? Uh, oh, no, not you. Force of habit, Namunda. Sorry, need to go in, in through here. Thank you for keeping my son safe on his pilgrimage. Please take this sword with my gratitude. A steel fire sword has been added to your inventory. Madam, I I really, I appreciate the gesture, but I have no need for it. She's just refusing, like, no, no, it is a gift. Fine. Yes, Outlander, what do you want? Ah, oh dear. Uh, what I want is pr get promoted, madam. That's what I want. Failing that, I want a pile of gold so I can train to become better. What do I need right now? Endurance 30, strength 30. We be we do meet those uh, requirements at least. We also need one of the following skills at 20. Athletics, spear, long blade, heavy armor, medium armor, and armor. Huh. I guess our, our best bet's probably to train long blade. I've got like 400 gold now, so I could probably afford to train it like twice. Can we hurry this up? Light armor, short blade, and sneak. What the hell are you doing in house, Redder and Madam? You're about as useless as I am. There's a train around here somewhere. It's like practice rooms, right? Do I this know dude. You? Oh, right, yeah, I forgot. We're not high enough rank for him. Lord Fancy Pants there won't train us. Alright, well, I'll just bugger off to the Fighters Guild and get some training there. I choose not to speak at all. Screw you. You, sir, do you train? Yes, but not in the things I need. And this block is one of the required skills. 
Weirdly, no. Shame. That would have been actually quite useful. Let's hear it. Pretty sure there's a red guard around here somewhere that'll train me with long blade. There he is. Guy, so if you could hurry this up. Long blade. Once again, sir. Fifteen. Just need to train it five more times. I think I think I or uh, no, I'm not. I'm, I I can't just join the Fighters Guild Furious because it. Our assigned uh, Imperial Guild for this playthrough by the character sheet was Mages Guild, so no discounts for me. Any time now. I could do some Mages Guild quests in the meantime, I suppose. Or I could go up to Alvalothi and uh, I must be going, so if you could do whatever that guy needs doing up there. I'm, I think I might do that, because I, I don't... I think I've done the Alvalothi quests before a very long time ago, but I don't remember any of it, so... Let's go do that instead. Why walk when you can ride? Mages Guild Daily Quest is serious busy work. They are quite easy to do, though. Uh, bots? I don't need no stinking bots. Used to have Nightbot, then Nightbot stopped working, and to be honest, I really don't miss it. I only got a bot in the first place because, like, every other streamer had a bot, and I thought, oh, okay, if I'm doing the streamer thing, I guess I, sp I should probably have a bot, because that's what everyone else is doing. So I got a bot, and then the useless bloody thing was more work than it was worth. And then eventually I was just like, you know, when it, when it, when it stopped working, hilariously around about the time I was playing Battlestar Galactica, um... I was just like, you know what? Don't need it. Was it that long ago already? 2016? Yeah, it must have been. Ah, uh, here we go. Sight of a previous incident. Nearly died here, didn't we? Bumped into these two. Is there anything I forgot to loot? I suppose I can take this spare kite and armor. And the bow. I really do need the money at the moment, so. Oh, cat's dreaming. Just had a little funky muscle spasm. Oh, that leads up to the Dwemer Ruins, doesn't it? Although, you know what? Dwemer Ruins, they have treasure in them. Maybe we'll go check it out. Hello, Mr. Scrib. You look a little lost, dude. All 
Right, let's just, uh, excuse me, wait for a minute here while our uh, fatigue comes back. The Dome Room with a crazy name. Hey, do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? Arkenfunch Studums. Alrighty then. None of the big centurions ref with reflect, please. Sneak one of my skills? I think it is, isn't it? It's a night blade. Let's make use of it. Oh, no crit for us. Sad times. Sneaky, sneaky. Scrap metal. Ugh, it's weight 10 though, isn't it? It's not worth having. Ah, this is where they keep the good stuff. Raw ebony. More scrap metal. Some gemstones. And a willow. You can keep the coherer. I'll take the shield though. Coherer PTSD. <laughs> yeah. Man, I tell you, I, I can't look at those things the same way again. Never will. There's a part of me that always wants to go, oh, oh, need to get that, need to get that for later. Same with bitter green petals. Ever since that bloody quest in um in Blood Moon with the mine. I can't look at bitter green petals in the game now and not instinctively want to grab them. We could rob an Imperial glass mine. That would be the jackpot. Wouldn't be very honourable of us, but, uh, you know, we'd make loads of money. Did that with my Argonian character off stream. Robbed a glass mine. I got sent there on a Fighter's Guild quest to kill some Nixhounds and my Argonian character felt he wasn't being appropriately compensated, so <laughs> nicked all of the glass that was in the in the veins in the area that had been condemned because of the uh, Nixhound infesta infestation. By the time he got out of there, nobody was any the wiser. I say he felt like he wasn't being appropriately compensated. That's not really true. Because it makes him shout, sound like a selfish character, but actually my, my, my current overarching goal with that character is to free all the slaves on Vardenfell. And in order to do it, I need to get loads and loads of training in um, Conjuration so I can use the Command Humanoid spells. Which means I need loads of money in order to get that training. So it's actually all for a good cause. Where's Command Conjuration and not Illusion anyway? I don't know. It's an odd one, but it isn't. Sort of a bit like uh, Absorb Health being mysticism. Doesn't really make an awful lot of sense. I mean, I suppose you could narratively justify it somehow, but... Uh, really should just be Destruction, if we're honest with ourselves. Oblivion got it wrong too. Oblivion made it Restoration for some reason. 
Which again, I can, I guess I can see some of the logic there, but really, no, come on guys, it's destruction. Here we go, we're finally here. One of the least visited towns in the game, this. I suspect, mostly because it has no fast travel links whatsoever. In spite of having a port, there's no fast travel ship available there. What is it, Outlander? What brings you back to Old Velothi, Asutas? Duties, mate. Thank you for asking, Asutas. Normally things are pretty quiet in Old Velothi, but Old Bluefin is back and up to his old tricks. It's time someone got rid of Old Bluefin for good. He's a slaughterfish we see around here every couple of years. He came back bigger and meaner than ever and has been hanging around the docks. Me and him go way back, but this time he's gone too far. Kill him before he puts my fishermen out of business. Old Bluefin. Very well. What Sushi you... time, yeah. <laughs> you know, honestly, like people give Skyrim a lot of stick, but I think Skyrim's magic system was not the worst. The system was okay. I don't think they really used it to its full potential, though. I think that people have done a lot of cool things with Skyrim's magic system thanks to mods. How do you... Are these, aren't these two connected or something, if I recall? They are, yeah. You just seen Pelagiad to be the least visited town in the game? No, I think a lot of people accidentally wander into Pelagiad on the way to Balmora. I, I definitely did on my first playthrough. Old Bluefin. Speak, traveller. I was hoping I could ask you about Old Bluefin, but... Sorry, I just need to... OBS is doing weird shit in the background. Sorry. Needed to fix that. So you have these people stood here like, Hi, I am I am a fast travel person, but... Nope. My time is precious, so make it quick. Almost feels like unfinished content, you know? See, I liked a lot of the things that Skyrim did in its magic system because it it introduced a lot of fun new different effects. Um, in, even even in terms of like dragon shouts and stuff, like like I liked that there was a you know effectively a spell effect in the form of Fusro Dar that was entirely physics based. You know, just launching someone with with telekinesis that was fun. I liked that. I liked the spell where like it lit up a a twinkling path along the ground towards your quest objective. I thought that was a really cool idea. Um, I liked the one that lets you attack way, way faster than normal, and I liked the one that lets you slow down time. So there was a lot of cool stuff going on there. It's just I feel like they needed to add more. You're not old, Bluefin. <laughs> lockpick him to death. Ah! Tickle him with the lockpick. Tickle, 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 tickle. There. Ooh, is this old bluefin? Uh, yeah, just a slaughterfish. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away.
Yeah, runes were fun. Being able to like basically put down magical landmines. That was fun. And I like the notion of having certain spells that were very powerful, but they, they actually took quite a bit of time to cast. Like, you, you, the caster has to do that whole sort of, I'm going to wave my arms around and then slap the floor and then the spell goes off thing. Oh, magic combat music has immediately started. Is old Bluefin stuck somewhere? I bet he is, isn't he? It's like stuck behind a boat or something. Shame about the lack of spell creation, though. Yeah, that is a shame, admittedly. Where is the bugger? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, shit. I wasn't looking at the health bar. I just assumed, oh, it's a slaughterfish. It's not going to do that much damage. Well, there we go. Thus ends the tale of Asutas, the Red Ryan warrior. Met his end at the fate. Uh, met his met his end at the hands of old Bluefin. Old Blue Finisher, yeah. <laughs> Man, old Bluefin, no joke apparently. I told you, Django. I friggin' told you. You were sitting there all smug like, oh, this character's going to be around for a while. Now he's got the chameleon amulet. And I said to you, I said to you, oh, ye of too much faith. And you were like, no, 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 you'll be fine with, with chameleon. Like, you're basically invincible. I friggin' warned you, man. Friggin' told you so. Should get up and do a little told you so dance right now. The thing, if, if, if this series of interactive, random, not interactive Morrowind, that's a whole other thing. If this series of random Morrowind has taught me anything, it's that things you don't expect are the things that kill you. If I know an enemy's, like, really strong, then I take precautions and I'm cautious and he probably won't get me. It's the shit that I don't expect to kill me that is what that, that kills me in this. Whether it was the vampire hunter like one hitting me with the vampire character, or old bluefin here just nomming my face off in a couple of hits. That's what kills you in this game. It's not stuff that you're able to prepare for and be like, right, I need to use my chameleon spells, I need to do this, I need to do this. It's not the shit that you expect to be difficult. Right. What's the time? 20 past 7. Uh, we, we can go a bit longer. New character. And before I do this, um, I want to try the... I want to try the, the character generator that someone on the Discord came up with. Uh, I, I don't have a link to it right now, though. Oh, uh, boy. Here we go. Let me do a quick search. Someone came up with an alternative uh, random generator, which looked like it might be quite fun, so. Ah, uh, there we go. Brilliant. Thanks, thank, thanks for the link. Appreciate it. There we go. Right, so... If we do this and then tell it to actually capture the correct screen. There we go. This is the new one, and uh, yeah, unfortunately the background's not a very good colour for being able to read the chat, is it? Um, apologies for that. Uh, so yeah, this is the one that... Yes, it was Samwise that made this. Um, so we can use NPC classes. I'm going to do that, just for giggles. 
And sensible characters. Attempts to match up factions with your character's class. Which would make a nice change, wouldn't it? So let's tick that one as well. And uh, generate a new character. Oh boy. Okay, so what do we got here? It's slightly cropped off the screen. I wonder if I can do something about that. Hold on. Uh, there, that's better-ish. Okay, there we go. Dios Ahala, a male imperial hunter whose birth sign is the Lord. He is the Nerevarine, apparently. Well, he'll probably be a failed incarnate at best, and is a vampire. <sighs> like, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm really done with vampires. Um, let's, let's do that again. No, not another werewolf, goodness me. None, right, good. None for the occult, right. Kahusk Dur. Gender, male. A Breton Caravana. We haven't had that one before. Birth sign is the serpent. Yes, Nerevarin. None, no occult. You are Ka Kahusk? Kahusk Dower. A male Breton Caravana. You were born in Lilmoth under the sign of the serpent in the year 3 East 368, making you 59 years old at the start of the game. You were destitute before being arrested and sent to Vardenfell. Your father was Arkadi Dower, an apothecary, and your mother was Jessica Dower, a miner. Monsters wiped out your village and you were the sole survivor. You had to find a way to survive. So our Imperial Faction is going to be Thieves Guild. Great House is House Slalu. Native Faction is Morag Tong. And Drives, Pack Merchant. Acquire goods in town and sell them for a profit in the next. That would match the class quite nicely. Um, Daedrologist. Complete at least one Daedric quest and gain the Prince's Artifact. Ideals. Dishonest. If you, know, you never buy anything... If you want something, you steal it. Okay. <laughs> We're basically a Ferengi by the looks of all of this. Uh, abolitionist. All slaves you come across must be freed and their owners killed. Flaws. Sentimental. You never sell your old weapons and armor, but instead display them in your home base. Okay. There we go. So that's the character. Go back to the game. Hello Jim. again, Jib. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? My name is ridiculous as usual. It is Kahusk. Dower. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. 56 rules of acquisition of Vivek, yes. Why? Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. Got to beat him to the exit. Got to beat him to the exit. Get out of my way. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the center. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Alright, so we are a Breton. Is this the first Breton we've had? In the series? I can't remember. It might be. Um, we're apparently 59 years old, so... Uh, I'm going to make a character that looks suitably long in the tooth. I kind of like the look of this dude here. So, we get a Magicka bonus, resist Magicka, dragon skin. Magicka is the whole thing with, with, with Breton's alchemy, alteration, conjuration, illusion, mysticism, restoration. Probably not a good choice. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. The names are all names of a USP, so there is a Breton somewhere in the game, in the lore or, or games called Ka Ka Kahusk. Interesting. Yeah, I was going to say, that sounds like it could be a weird vampire name. Ah, uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. 
There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Resist magic is always a nice passive, at least. Yeah, that's true, actually. And the uh, dragon skin spell is, isn't, isn't terrible. All right, so pick from class list. We are a caravanner. Specialization combat, intelligence and endurance. Mercantile, sneak, security, acrobatic, speechcraft. Unarmored, hand-to-hand, -hand, light, armor, blunt, weapon and block. Interesting. Mercantile, sneak, security, acrobatics and speechcraft. So no, no major combat skills. Good. <laughs> this is going to go great. Um, unarmored, hand-to-hand, -hand, light armor, blunt weapon and block. So blunt weapons then. Blunt weapons and maybe a shield. And hand to hand, but I'd rather go with a blunt weapon if 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 given the option. Okay. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? On the other hand, you'll be able to afford training from your stealing exploits. Well, theoretically, yeah, hopefully. All right, our birth sign was the serpent. That's uh, the one that, yeah, it gets star curse. Poison three points for 30 seconds on touch and damage health one point for 30 seconds on itself. It's... I don't think there's a contest. I think it's the worst star sign in the game. <laughs> but we'll go with it. Interesting. Now, before I, I feel like it's narratively appropriate, at least, if nothing else. Correct. All right, so 30 for all our major skills, three 15s and our minors, and two 20s. Oof. 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 What a dreadful build. We do start with 90 magicka, at least. Not that we have any magical skills. 50% resist magicka, though, is quite nice, and dragon skin is not terrible either. All right. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Continue through to the next building and talk to Sullis Gradius. Well, let's start as we mean to continue. Anything good in these? I don't think we do alchemy, do we? No. Too late for the platter. Our end duties. Sure, whatever. Bye! Give or not to give Fargoth his ring? Here you go. He's going to tell a reel about us and we'll get much better prices now. Although we're dishonest, so we never buy anything. If we want something, we steal it. Unfortunately, a reel is a little bit difficult to rob. Share your thoughts. I will sell stuff to him, though. Just no buying, I guess. All right, 350 gold. And I don't really need these either, actually. Not worth much, but... Right. That's a start. I do need a weapon, though. Uh, does that include spells and training? No, because you can't steal those, Django.
That's where Ariel keeps his stuff. No way for us to get in there, though. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. You look like you can use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. That's right. See, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally I'd be fine, but we usually we could usually keep some gold in our pockets just for the money of the locals' pairs for protection. But I know some of them are holding out on me. Especially that little fetcher Fargoth. He's come up light the last couple of weeks when I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth's hiding place. I know the little fetcher's got one in somewhere in town. I'm just not sure where yet. I've already gone through his whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. I'd like you to find out where he's stashing his gold, if you can. Uh, if you can, I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Okay. Excellent. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around town at night. Watch his movements. The best vantage point is on top of the lighthouse south of town. That will give you a nice view of all the state of need. If you keep an eye on where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding that gold. Righty ho. And I can wait and rest now because I'm not playing an insomniac character anymore. Hurrah. I was about to say that the um, the pack merchant thing we have kind of conflicts with uh, dishonest. But admittedly, Pack Merchant does say acquire goods, not buy them. Acquire goods in town and sell them for a profit in the next. It's been a while since I've played a proper kleptomaniac, actually. This could be fun. My time is precious, so make it quick. I wonder if there's a way we can get rid of you. There's some stuff in here worth nicking. I know there's some stuff up, up top. Can you even make a profit through regular trading in this game? Well, yeah, obviously. If you use mercantile skill. It's not much of a profit, admittedly, but it's a profit. Alright, fog off, you little fetcher. Show me where you keep the money. I don't know how I'm going to... I don't know whether or not I'm going to uh, respect that to the exact letter, Django. If I'm completely honest with you, mate. There we have that helpful tree, the shortcut tree. Here we go. The best part is we got the ring back. <laughs> 
Love it. We should talk to someone about the uh, the tax collector. The missing tax collector, you know. Oh, stop telling me about Sultan, you buggers. Tell me about the tax collector. Yeah. Now I've clicked the Sultan topic. Oh, right. There we go. I've heard about that. Heard that the local tax collector processes Vitellius is missing. No surprise, really. He wasn't like well liked around here. Whose houses could we rob around here? Oh yeah, lock level 45, I don't know if we can get into that. I'd like to nick this lantern. Come on, surely nobody can see me now. Game, give me my sneak indicator. Wait, isn't there a bug with the sneak indicator in this game when you're outdoors? I don't remember. I think the sneak indicator is a bit wonky when you're outdoors in this game. Yeah, see, nobody saw that. Alrighty then. Oh my goodness me, 16 empty bottles? What riches I have found. Hello. Do you know what? I might start taking a few potion ingredients because, to be honest, I might do a bit of alchemy even though I don't have it as one of my main skills anyway just because we aren't joining the fighter's guild or the, <laughs> or the mage's guild. And um, therefore, we're not going to have cheap, free access to lots of potions, so. Got to find a way to make up the difference there, especially considering apparently we're not going to be buying any either. We might have to take up alchemy as a bit of a hobby. That was a lot of moon sugar, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Wish I'd known about it, the, the, this place when uh, when I was doing those those uh, skooma addicted characters. Here's some light armor. And a blood weapon! Hurrah! Pillows. All right then. 
This is not a bad haul at all. My goodness, my movement speed. <laughs> oh boy, there's someone upstairs. Oop. You didn't see anything. Stealth in Morrowind, guys. It's, uh... It's really, uh... It's not good for your suspension of disbelief. Let's put it that way. Strange. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit strange that I'm st standing on your table, isn't it? Hundred gold just sitting there. Anytime now. Never mind. All right, let's get ourselves a salt strategy to Balmora, shall we? Screw the smuggler cave. I ain't going in there. Let's hear. I'm waiting. Could you kindly play face the wall while I rob the place? Yep, that is that is Morrowind stealth in a nutshell. Oh man, you see, this is the Morrowind experience. Right here. I think this is this has got to be the first character we've had in the series that truly has an abysmal uh, running speed. Why walk when you can ride? There, I have so much moon sugar and skooma for you, my dude. <laughs> Look at that total sold. <laughs> oh boy. any of your uh, demon weapons are going to be any helpful or any any help to us unfortunately with this character I'm gonna have to take some of this back off you mate I don't uh... I'm gonna have to find someone else to give the skooma to Oh yeah, you're right, I forgot. I'm buying stuff. Gonna have to get out of that habit and all. Oh, look at all the money I've got! Don't know who else to get the skooma to, honestly. Let me just <coughs> pop this here. Don't ask where I got this from, mate. Fell off the back of a wagon. It did. <laughs> this up, oh, we're dressing up Meldor as an Imperial. That's funny. Actually... I don't got anything good. I might want to nick. Speak, traveler. Just doing some window shopping, boys. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. 
Do, do, do. Block two complex. What? Really? For a journeyman lockpick? I'm amazed. Guess my security is not that good. I'll have to fix that. When all else fails, there's creeper. Actually, you're right. He'll buy the skooma. This could be the most powerful character we have yet, in theory, just because of how much money we might potentially end up making. And I can spend all of it on training. In fact, I will have to spend all of it on training. I can't buy stuff, so. <laughs> Dumpster. Potions, yes. <laughs> a, 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 a staple source of income in this game. Dumpster potions. Last guy died to a fish. Alright, don't undersell it, okay? That was old bluefin. And old bluefin is no joke. Steel now carriers. Mortar and pestle. Oh, don't worry, we'll get to now carrier. She's like the first Thieves Guild quest, so. You know what? Uh, let's go. You're right there, cat. Me, hey, buddy. You're here on the desk with me. You're all right, dude. He was growling in his sleep. Were you dreaming about the nasty black and white cat? Hmm? You were dreaming about that bastard. Hmm? What do you want? Oh, he's awake now. He's grooming himself. We've got no inventory right now. Let's go visit the pawn broker. Oh, right, yeah. My dumpster potions. This grief. This useless fur bracer. Scam skins. These books. Do not need all these lanterns. One will be sufficient, I think. And that healing ring is garbage, so you can have that too. I'm gonna squeeze a bit more out of you than that. There we go. Haha, <laughs> she put it on. <laughs> Alright, we're on two grand already. I'm gonna go and get myself teleported to Caldera so we can give the skooma to Creeper. Just as soon as I go back, pick it up again though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm one step ahead of you, chat.
See, this whole sell in the next town thing, right, guys? The reason why I'm not respecting it is because it's pointless busy work that will make the game less fun. The intention, clearly, of the pack merchant drive is so that you actually theme a playthrough around being a merchant. And unfortunately, because we're, we have the dishonest ideal, we can't do a traditional merchant playthrough with this character. This character is, is a thief through and through, which means that the whole merchant type character is not going to work. And so that's why I'm kind of ignoring that sort of sell in the next town thing. This is this is a case of rules as written versus rules as intended, folks. And I am, have always leaned more towards rules as intended. Why am I talking to you? <laughs> travel. No, not spells. Travel. Let's do business. I right. perhaps another time. There we go. Let me just wait for my fatigue to come back and I'll do a bit of alchemy. Hello, spy check. You finally caught the stream live. Well, welcome. Just picking loose hairs and bits of fluff off of the cat at the moment while I wait for the fatigue to come back. Yes, I know. It annoys you. He's lashing his tail at me. I'm just grooming you, kitty because you're a mucky pup and you always come in here covered in crap even when you haven't been outside you somehow find a way to just stick your head in a corner somewhere and get it covered in cobwebs and fluff So we're not a uh, not an alchemy character. <laughs> Although our intelligence stat uh, definitely will help with making good potions. Ironically enough, I just was so bad at alchemy I can't actually see what the effects of them are. <laughs> Anything else in here worth nicking while we're here? Oh, that is. usually find something useful in those sacks. Ooh! Ooh! Vanilla E-Cash's lock split. I'll open 100 points on target. BRB, guys. Going to go rob the palace of Vivek. do business that's not glad your generator is giving me a character i'm enjoying i i actually am i actually am i, I this is this is a fun experiment in seeing if you if you really do just nick everything that's not nailed down how powerful a character can you create just with the power of dosh rather than, you know, doing it the traditional way by going out there and actually practicing your skills on bandits. I'm going to train up our skills so we're ready for a fight long before we've even seen our first bandit.
Hello, orc friends. Say your business. Technically, I think you can nick this, and they they get all and they get all pissy with you about it, but it's not actually a crime. They all go thief, but I believe bounty zero. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. I thought that was some Cyrodiilic brandy there. Creeper! I'm creeping, he says. For you, I have moon sugar. Well, you don't buy that though, do you? Uh, I have skooma. I had some potions I made, although I suppose I might... No, you can have that. And that. On the book? No. Creeper has no time for reading. Doesn't want the shirt either. Lovely. Say your business. Speak quickly. I mean, yeah, they threw the book in the fireplace. They clearly didn't want it. So what are they complaining about? I'm just tidying up. It's not theft. I'm tidying. Speaking of theft, though. <laughs> I wonder what else we can rob in this town. in here. Got to, got to point the lockpick at the actual lock. It's just, it's an unwritten rule. Look at my floofy, uh, my floofy sleeve here. My fancy new shirt. What have we got? Hand meat. Nice. Racer plumes. More racer plumes. A skull. trying to nick anything up there. Go ahead, I don't think he was being sarcastic. Like, go ahead, stranger. Try and pick that lock. See what happens. Do you approach? Hello. What was that? <laughs> Not going to have any luck there, are we? Not until I can get myself some 100% chameleon. I wish I could remember where I got the amulet now for, that, for the previous playthrough. This place might have some luck here. Lots of potion ingredients. shield that's not actually a shield. Ooh. Make me want to play a bit of Thief 2 this. Cyrodelic brandy? Oh, crap. Bounty zero. Okay, never mind then.
Let's hear it. Yeah, I guess I'm taking your brandy, dude. Alright, we can just nick this guy's stuff. He's not going to do anything, apparently. <laughs> Why do you have cog ball brute in a tiny chest, you weirdo? This is a bug with all of Caldera. I always knew you could do it with the with the with the house of the orcs in, but he didn't seem to be bothered either. But then it might be because of some sort of he's attached to a quest of some sort. I don't think Creeper will buy most of this, Django. He'll buy the brandy, and I think that's it. Speak quickly. buy the books. He'll buy the cup. And will he buy the spare alchemy stuff? Nope. Um, that's pretty much it. Say your business. You take me for a fool. That skill book was actually useful. Uh oh. All right, I'm listening. I noticed we've dropped a few frames in this stream actually so far. I didn't even notice this earlier, but we dropped five thousand nine hundred and fifty-five frames, and my connection right now is being a bit funky as well. I'm getting a few yellow and orange lights on the. Uh, the corner of OBS. I hope that hasn't impacted anyone's enjoyment too much today. It should be okay for the VOD, but um, yeah, I didn't even notice that. I, it was being really dodgy yesterday, actually. I had to reboot the router. Um, but hopefully it shouldn't have been too bad. I have a setting enabled in OBS that basically anytime the connection's getting a bit wobbly, it drops the stream quality instead of dropping frames. So, um, Theoretically, the broadcast shouldn't have been up interrupted too much, but um, yeah, so I, don't, I have just noticed that my bitrate is a bit unstable at the moment. Right, you sir. Oh, the freaking moon sugar. Okay. <laughs> I suppose technically, because this character is an Erevarin, we, we, we should actually... I was about I was almost about to get rid of the package for Kaius Crusaders, and I thought to myself, actually, technically with this character, we should actually speak to him. He's still got more to give us. Right. You don't buy that? Oh, really? Okay. All right, time to freaking mercantile the shit out of you, dude. There we go. Four grand we've got now. Oh, he's got a guard, has he? <laughs> Four 
Four grand. And we haven't even been in combat. This, this uh, play style is working out quite well. Right. I'm going to get us back to Balmora. Go ahead. What's the description for Caravana, actually? These folks provide the Silt Strider transport service around Vardenfell. Oh, I see. So we're like an ex Silt Strider dude. <laughs> or whatever the Breton equivalent is, I guess. That's the NPC that has that class in vanilla. It's the uh, Silt Strider guys. They have this class. Interesting. Just a bus driver gone bad. Yeah, I left the moon shooter behind. I honestly don't care. I don't know who else to give it to. Revere is out of dosh. And at this point, it's chump change, isn't it? Say your words. Bug driver, really? Yeah, I suppose. Carrier, I'm here specifically to sell you that and that. Come on. There we go. Right, ladies and gents. That's going to be it for today. It's already ten past eight. I've gone over time again. Thanks very much for tuning in, everybody. I'll be back again next weekend at, uh, on Sunday with more of uh, Kahusk, the kleptomaniac. Um, on Tuesday, hopefully, unless something comes up, we will be doing some Sea of Thieves over on Elf's channel. Yes, another Elfarius here in the chat right now, in fact. So go give his channel a follow if you want to be notified for that. Um... Uh, during the week, I might do another Microsoft Flight Simulator stream if I've got the time. And aside from that, I'll be back with more Wildermyth on Saturday and then again more of this next Sunday. So, Right, that's it, ladies and gents. Hope you've had fun. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will see you when I see you. Same goes for you folks on YouTube. Toodaloo.